For generations, Smith Brothers meant cough drops, usually cherry. But in San Francisco these days, the Smith Brothers represent a pair of defensive aces for the 49ers that hardly bring relief to opposing offenses. Anything but. Justin Smith is a mountain of a man on the defensive front who became a Niner in 2008 as a free agent, a former fourth overall draft pick in 2001 by Cincinnati. He's been a pro bowler now four straight seasons in San Francisco, and until December he had started 185 straight games. Alden Smith hasn't done a lot at linebacker for the 49ers since he was the seventh overall draft pick in 2011. Yeah, right. His 33 and a half sacks in two seasons, including 19 and a half this year, broke the record for most sacks to start a career held by Reggie White, who had 31 in his first two seasons in Philadelphia back in the 80s. I had to wonder, are these Smith brothers brothers? Justin Smith, Alden Smith, last name Smith. Both played college at Missouri. Sack record once upon a time. Sack record a little bit later. Both top seven draft picks. Both 6'4". Both 49ers defenders. Both Pro Bowl and All-Pro players. I really do think you're related. I don't know. I mean, there's too much similarity here. I'm a little better looking, I think. Uh, I'm a lot taller, you know, stronger, faster, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Did you know of each other at Missouri? Like, for example, you followed your, your alma mater. You heard of this, this fellow, Alden Smith? A lot of my buddies back home still are Mizzou fans. They'd text me and be like, oh, this lanky guy from uh, Missouri is getting a bunch of sacks. Did you know whose record you were breaking? He has a little picture in the hallway of Missouri. And um, <laughs> you know, after I broke it, kind of found out who is, he was. Is it black and white? It's black and white. <laughs> <laughs> it's black and white. <laughs> Gonna be hit, gonna be sacked. Alden Smith and Justin Smith are there. When the two of you are in on a sack and you're on the ground and do you guys sing the fight song to each other, Missouri fight song? <laughs> <laughs> I get up and dance. He just looks at me. We're pretty much mouthing each other. We're like, what took you so long or where you been? He likes to talk some trash. Tell me how you guys almost play off each other, the inside stunts. And I'd say it's more of a feel than a call or a look. He's got a knack for getting up the field, and he, he feels penetration looping around quick. Takes the snap, four-man rush, pressure coming. Alden Smith just having a furious night. Most of the time it's a feel, or, you know, he might get off a little bit faster and not read it and come around. So uh, it works both ways. Now, I mean, that's just uh, natural ability, knowing when to come under, just having that uh, extra sense to know uh, when to come get it. Another sack for Alden. A five and a half sack game, right? Like Chicago. How did that feel? Yeah, it felt, felt amazing. I was kind of, you know, in the zone. Look out! Alden Smith is unblockable. You know, I wasn't keeping up with the numbers, but, uh, you know, afterwards, you know, reality kicked in and it uh, felt really good. And conversely, it's not a statistic thing with you, Justin. Be more like if you take on two guys, that's almost like a, like a five sack game, isn't it? Not close. <laughs> you, you're trying to butter me. You're trying to butter me up over here, but I'm not going to let you butter me up. No, it is impressive. The San Francisco 49ers will play in the NFC Championship game. So you've been here two years in your two championship games. Do you think it happens all the time? From what I heard, it doesn't. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to change things. You know. Um, I wish it could happen all the time. What do you and maybe the other veterans, Justin, tell the younger fellas about opportunity and how it may not be there all the time? I think everybody kind of senses that because almost that whole locker room was in that situation last year. You know, after we won the uh, Saints game, we were going nuts in the locker room. After this game, really not so much. You know, I, I think there's a lot more meat left on that bone. You got two games left. I'm not jinxing it because it's a fact. It was either the Pro Bowl well, this is the Super Bowl. Raise your hand if you want to go to Honolulu. Nobody moved. Raise your hand if you want to go to New Orleans. Here we go. There's only one way to do this, isn't there? There's only one way to do it. <laughs> well, you can see they're, they're coachable.